name's Jason McNiven. I work in Basingstoke as one of the fitters. I've been doing this for about 35 years, so yeah, long time. In 1991, I joined the PGA, uh, qualified golf pro, and done fitting for the last 25 years. So the question you always get, and I've had it for day one, is that I'm not good enough to be fit, so it's not for me. That is absolutely the opposite of what is true. You know, good players can make a lot of things work, they're less able players can't. So for you, understand that maybe you can't, or you probably won't be able to hit off the deck a three wood, that you might have to have a seven wood or a five wood as maximum. You can't hit a five iron, so have a six iron, or even a seven iron, and a six hybrid is good for you. There's absolutely whatever you need and whatever you need to work around, we can fit and we can dissolve that into your game. If you're not very good, don't be ashamed. Come in, we've seen it all. Understand that this is what you do. How do you get better? What makes you better tomorrow than today? You know, it, it could be coaching, it could be product, it could be a combination of the two, right? So we need the golfer to understand that this is how you get better. You don't just tough it out and just keep going. You sometimes need a little bit of help. Golf shoes is an obvious, right? Now remember, if you've got trainers that have got a big heel lift, and you play in golf shoes that are quite thin sold, that's a difference that's gonna be there that's not, if you like, not accurate. So yeah, bring your golf shoes, bring your golf clubs, even if you're, like, if you're playing a hat, bring a hat. Make it feel as normal as possible. I know we're indoors, but make it feel as normal as possible, even to the point where we ask people what ball do you use, and we will get them to use whatever ball they use. If someone never met me or, or us before, You've got to make them feel comfortable. This is very exposing in terms of how you feel, especially if you're not the world's most able player. People get very nervous. So part of the job is to make them feel comfortable, at ease. I guess the classic icebreaker, just hit a few shots and get your body moving. We'll have a chat about you, your golf, what your aspirations are, what your expectations are as well, and what you're looking to get out of the session. And then we can frame that as you're warming up, hitting a few balls, we'll have a look at what you've got, measure it, you know, understand what's good and what's bad in the bag. Now, diagnosis wise, start to understand your delivery. This is the important bit with fitting. Everyone's got their own signature. So you deliver the club in a certain way, be it shallow, steep, out to in, in to out, or a combination of all factors. So our job is to understand this is what you do under pressure. So that's what you're gonna get when you play poorly or you feel stressed. So we can help you understand that, especially if you're having coaching, you know, what the coach is trying to get you to do. We can align the fit along with what the coach is aiming to get out of your golf swing, really. It's not about seeing a golf club, right? That is an outcome of the process. We'll tell you the truth, right? The one thing I would say to you is that when I've trained guys around the world to fit, we will tell you what is right and what is wrong. As in, if you've got a club that works, I'll tell you it's working really good. If you want to change it, that's your choice. Equally, if a club's not working, I'll tell you why it's not working. So in that, it's an honest and frank conversation that we have with people saying, look, we can improve you or we can't improve you. The process is to understand what you've got, why it works, why it doesn't work, or why the pressure is a bit fragile, and can we improve that and take that pain away, frankly? And that's when we get involved, if you like, in terms of giving you the outcome or solution or prescription to what you need. So once the customer's received the phone call or an email saying the clubs are ready, I do like to see that person come in and collect and hit them and make sure that they're comfortable. Anything that we have to do, like line angle changes, just to reassure them and us that it's perfect and they hit a few shots. It could be 15, 20 minutes, it could be half an hour, it could be the hour, it doesn't matter. We then you know, have that, if you like, second date for a phrase, make sure that you're happy, we're happy, everyone's happy, and then you go away, you know what you've got is working and it's ideal for you. I do like to see that, just sending it away to people. Look, it's possible if people live a long way away, but I still think it's good to hit it.